Now, in a breaking story, Iceland's Prime Minister Sigmundur David Gunnlaugsson has resigned. It's the first major political casualty to emerge from the leak of the so-called Panama Papers financial documents. The leaked files showed that the Premier's wife owned an offshore firm with big claims on Iceland's collapsed banks. The papers have caused a public outrage over how the world's rich and powerful are able to stash their cash into offshore accounts and avoid taxes in their respective of countries whilst many people suffer austerity and hardship. South Africa is estimated to be losing roughly 147 billion rand per year due to alleged illegal movement of money out of the country. South Africa, like a number of other countries on the continent, needs large volumes of capital to effectively address the challenges of eradicating poverty and underdevelopment. During his budget vote, the finance minister hinted on introducing a bill to address the illegal financial flows. We will continue to act aggressively against evasion of tax through transfer pricing abuses, misuse of tax treaties and illegal or illicit money flows. Honourable members, billions of rands are being lost through these mechanisms and we need to start pooling the right skills in the right places in order to contest this. Today, political parties weighed in on the illegal transfer of money to offshore personal accounts. Well, this is obviously the biggest leak in the history of leaks. And important information is likely to arise about illicit uh, financial flows, including illicit financial flows uh, from South Africa. And for that reason, uh, I will be writing to Tom Moyane, the commissioner of SARS, to confirm that he is aware of the Panama Papers and will be looking into the revelations that are contained in the Panama Papers. We don't want people to steal money from old people or from innocent victims and then take it overseas, as has transpired. Um, and even people who take money out of South Africa um, in, in mass and just lowering the value of South African rand as a result is also um, not acceptable to us, especially when those mon that money is hidden somewhere and is not being used economically to the benefit of South Africans. The AU's high-level panel chair, former President Tabumbeki, has called on governments to urgently address the issue. It might be in some cases uh, tax authorities, in some instances it might be customs uh, authorities, in some instances it might even indeed be heads of state and heads of government who get involved in, uh, in, in these practices. The AU has adopted a high-level panel report and the team has also presented its report to the United Nations for consideration. Lehana Tsotetsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.